So a few weeks ago, I was going through my normal process for coming up with projects. But despite my best efforts, I was just coming up dry. But then, I had one of my best ideas yet. Tires. 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 Now there are many types of tires. Car tires, small tires, flat tires, flying tires, and even fat tires. But today, we're talking about 3D printed tires. Now tires need to be flexible, and standard 3D printing PLA is not. So we're going to use a material called TPU. This stuff is notoriously hard to extrude from a Bowden tube style printer. So luckily, I recently got a package in the mail. Printer review. The old Kaiwu 3D. In here I have the Kaiwu 3D Tycoon printer, um, and they were kind enough to send this over to me to check it out, so I'm looking forward to testing it. It's pretty crazy how much more capable and how much easier <clears throat> these new printers are to assemble. My first printer was a cubed one-up. Um, some, some people may remember those. They were like $200 and they had very little capability. They printed something about this big and it was all MDF and you had to build it from scratch. And it took me like an entire day. I got that back in like 2016 right after their Kickstarter ended. But <clears throat> it's crazy how far home 3D printers have come. Overall, I've been getting some good prints of this printer using pretty much any filament. I did have some initial problems with a defect called salmon scaling, which in this case was caused because the printer's control board uses A4988 stepper drivers for the Z-axis and extruder motors. I was able to fix this by adding some cheap TL smoother units to those axes. I talked to the team at Kaiwu about this, and they assured me that the next set of control boards they make will have the higher quality Trinamic stepper drivers for all the axes. Angus over at the Maker's Muse channel did a really good review of this printer about a year ago. I'll put a link to that video in the description. The tire printed great in TPU, which means we're ready to glue it to a wheel and test it. I'm also using my resin printer to print the same tire model using Psoriatech Tenacious Resin, which is still flexible after it's fully cured. Huge thanks to Sarai Tech for sending me some of this resin to test out. I'll be sure to put a link to them in the description below. With both tires printed, I assembled and wired up a test rig so we could do some durability testing. I let this test rig just go in circles for hours, just to simulate driving a lot on these tires. This testing was definitely inspired by Daniel over at RC Test Flight and how he tested remote control cars.
After the tires had been going in circles for about 10 hours, one of the wheels just fell off. This really didn't have anything to do with the tires, but it was actually due to the M2 screw I was using to hold the hub onto the motor shaft just shearing off. So I printed some new hubs, and then I could resume testing. After about 24 hours of testing, there's a pretty substantial rut in the ground, and the tires were definitely showing signs of wear. Doing some rough estimations, these tires traveled about 10 miles during these tests, and it was through rain, on concrete, gravel, and even these uneven pavers. Comparing the tested tires to some freshly printed versions really shows the amount of wear. The resin printed tires definitely experienced the most wear, which may just be due to material differences or possible under or over curing of the resin. The FDM printed TPU showed some signs of wear, but definitely not as much. I was really impressed with the performance of these TPU tires, and will definitely be using them in a future 3D printed rover I'm planning on building. Okay, so final thoughts on the Kaiwu Tycoon. First, the things I like. This thing is built like a tank. Uh, it uses mostly aluminum extrusion, and even has like a linear rail for the x-axis. It has a direct drive extruder, which means it can print pretty much any filament. It has auto bed mesh leveling, which is great. It's an easy to use control interface, and it's extremely quiet because it uses those TMC stepper drivers. So now for a couple things I think could be improved. Number one, it'd be nice if it could use a USB rather than an SD card. Secondly, they need to upgrade the extruder and the Z-axis stepper drivers to the TMC drivers. And then also an upgraded part cooling fan may be beneficial, because right now it seems a little bit undercooled. Overall, I think it's a pretty good printer. There are definitely printers out there that you get more build area for the same price range. However, the rigidity of this design is a big selling point. I'll be sure to put a link below in the description for this printer um, in case you want to check it out more. But as always, thanks again for watching. I have a lot more projects in the works, so subscribe for that, and I'll see you in the next one.